In this video, we're going to be giving an update on everything going on with Yuga Labs, from Dookie Dash to the Trial of Jimmy the Monkey to Other Side and everything in between. Before we get going, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, head to flowleo.com for all of your NFT portfolio management needs. Nothing we say today is financial advice. Please do your own research. Do not buy and sell based on my opinion. Look into these things yourself. Make sure that's the right move for you before buying and selling any NFTs. So, Kevin, let's jump into it. The year has started off hot for Yuga Labs, and I don't think that's going to be slowing down anytime soon. So I'm going to do a quick recap before we get into what's to come and like the new things we've learned, because we've actually gotten a bit of information in the last 24 hours. So to recap, we started this year with the Trial of Jimmy the Monkey and the Dookie Dash game. We have one day left in the game. So by this point, I think like 3 or 4 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow is when the game ends. At that point, all scores are locked. So if you're holding a sewer pass, the highest score on that pass is what's going to be locked to it. And then we're going to have a week while Yuga Labs finalizes the scores, looks for any cheaters, uh, which there's been some interesting information coming out about how they're doing that. And they kind of finalize everything. Then we're going to have the summoning the following week where we see kind of the transformation. It's been pretty cool uh, as this game has gone along see the amount of like big name streamers and Fortnite players who've gotten into it currently professional gamer mongrel is holding the top spot with a score of nine hundred and twenty eight thousand. uh to put into context my highest i'm not a, i'm not a, a high level gamer by any stretch of the imagination um but you know my tier four sewer pass with like the boost and everything top score is like one hundred and thirty seven thousand. like i i haven't really played much in the last week because it's just been very clear that i'm coming nowhere near like even the top 10 percent of scores in this game and i'm just like i got other things to do with my time i don't really want to put a bunch of money into it i might play a little bit more tonight just for one last hurrah but you know that's kind of been going on we've seen streamer bryson who is notoriously not been a fan of you know nfts and the concept of you know web3 gaming he's actually definitely gotten on board with this he's been tweeting a lot about other nft games or other web3 games that are being built that look really promising as well so i do feel like the best thing to come out of this so far is it's kind of shifting some people's attitudes of what NFTs can do for gaming, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I mean, the fact that, yeah, again, NFTs and, you know, gaming, those industries are, you know, combative. A lot of the gamers hate NFTs. They don't want any type of integration at all. But it's pretty sweet that this is the game that's hopefully changing some of the perspective for a lot of people. 100%. So let's kind of go into what is yet to come for the trial of Jimmy the monkey. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the MD versus MM website. Uh, th that is the, you know, where we presumably mecha dogs versus mecha monkeys. So we're right here. Play Dookie Dash. As I said, it's going to end tomorrow, the 8th. Scores will be validated. After that will be the summoning, at which point we will know what our pass is turned into. It's going to be some sort of power source. Now we have a little bit better idea of what's to come. So yesterday, some of these tiles changed and they added a bunch of them. So in late February is going to be whatever lick the toad is. I have no idea. No clue what that is. It's going to be something trippy. Uh, you know, it says get trippy up here. I think it's going to be fun. Not really sure what to expect. In early March the mech types will be revealed. So you had put out that teaser image about the mechs and what uh, Gary, the profit dog. I know this is all sounding weird if you're new here, but just roll with it. We've done other videos. You can go check those out. But the collection info is going to come out in early March and the mech types will be revealed. In early April, we'll see the reveal of Evolution 1. So these sewer passes, which I've been just pounding the table quite literally that it was more than a pass for a game okay so in early april we're going to see the first reveal of the evolution one of the pass and this is going to be the first mech type so we'll get the the mech types revealed and then the individual reveals of those mechs in early april so we're getting a little bit more of a timeline here then as we roll into may we're going to have the journey to evolution two so the mech will transform multiple times based on other mini games. Now, I don't, this is going to be the next round of mini games. It says time to play up here. I don't know what this one is going to look like. I'm 
hoping and I feel strongly that it's not going to be the same game type as Dookie Dash. It's not going to be another endless runner. I'm really hoping that maybe there's a little bit more strategy to this one, um, more than just, you know, fast reflexes, which is what Dookie Dash played into. Like as a, as a middle-aged guy who doesn't have, you know, I'm not a, a high level gamer. Like I said, I would love there to be like maybe a strategic element. Not that I would win that kind of a game, but I, I would have a better chance at least for the love of God. So that's what I'm hoping for, you know, the second game. And then eventually the third one is that, it's not just rewarding the people who have fast reflexes. There's a little bit more strategy and complexity to it that evens the playing field a bit. So that is what is going on with Trial of Jimmy the Monkey. Uh, you know, any any kind of thoughts, questions on your end there, Kevin? No, I mean, uh, I think you did a really good job explaining it. Uh, I would hope so, too, that that's a different type of playing game. Like, I wouldn't want it to be like, a, again, I don't have any... Uh, I have no exposure to BAYC for, at the moment, but you know it'd be pretty cool if they did something like a fighting game as opposed to like a platformer or something like that. Like just give us some like classic N sixty four like GameCube Smash Bros, but with uh, apes or something like that. That'd be kind of fun, but uh, not necessarily. I think you make a really good point. Like if it's the same thing over and over again, I think that might just get tiresome. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Again, this is a ton of stuff that's completely out there but it seems like they've put in a bunch of time just to make sure that they've created some some cohesive story even though it's a little wild yeah so you know i think i'm hoping it's like some sort of like strategy or puzzle kind of game like solving puzzles whatever that may be because that that's more where i i think i could uh do a little bit of damage but it's also encouraging you know we're going to have constant use of ape coin and we can kind of look at this and extrapolate out you know, we have this game in early May, and if we look back at the timeline of events here, we had, you know, the Dookie Dash game like mid-January to February. We're going to have a few months in between. So kind of leads me to think that maybe we'll see the third and final game in this whole series begin in late July, early August. And my my theory for a while has been we know that other side is coming late Q3 of this year. So, you know, like late October. My theory has been that Board Ape Yacht Club is planning out events and activations and use cases for ApeCoin because that is like their main thing. Like they've said on their website that Yuga Labs is powered by ApeCoin. So it's been my belief that they are, they have a whole, the whole year is planned out. They know exactly what they want to do, when they want to do it to continue to make sure that ApeCoin has use cases beyond just buying black hoodies and stuff like that. So I think we're going to see that all play out. And uh, that has me pretty excited. And that kind of moves into the next part, which is other side. So we've seen that Yuga Labs is kind of, you know, they're siloing things, right? They have like the IRL events with ApeFest. They have like their merch line. They have this game for Board Ape and Mutant Ape holders. And then they're going to have their big, you know, uh, activation event with other side. I think that is people were complaining that like, oh, this was so expensive to get into. It, this wasn't built to be like for every single person in the world to play. Right. This was specific, specifically for ape and mutant holders. And, you know, it's also gotten positive buzz. So I think it's that's a win overall. But other side is where they're going to try to onboard the masses. And so we knew coming into the year that the next other side voyage was going to take place in late March. So right at the end of Q1. Uh, a few hours ago, they dropped something that is teasing uh, another event coming up with other side that I will go ahead and share now. This was an image that the other side Twitter account put out at noon Eastern time today. So it is right here. I'm not, I don't have a ton of details about it. So this is for something called uh the legends of the mara now i have no idea what that means as you can see here it is a standalone 2d experience and it is powered by apecoin and they made sure to not only include that in the tweet but also in the text on the poster right here so the legends of mara now some uh some twitter detectives looked at the uh letters like whatever you know symbols these are right here going vertically and horizontally, and they were able to put together what that all means. 
So the vertical symbols here spell out the shattered vessels, and then the horizontal just spells out the uh, legends of the Mara again. So we know that that's what that means. Shattered vessels, I think, is interesting. And the head of gaming for you guys, Spencer Tucker, also put out a little teaser that, you know, this could be an opportunity where we learn more about what the codas are, which have been a, uh, a centerpiece of all the trailers leading up to other side. So in the first other side journey, there was a part of it where you got to like explore a bit and, you know, a, a group of codas came down and they were in these like big crystal vessels and they broke. And so I think this kind of continues on with that. And we're going to learn more about where the codas came from, what they do. So I think that is pretty exciting. And once again, it's going along with my thesis that they're going to continue to do more and more things to incorporate ApeCoin. My hope and what I think is going to happen is that you are not going to need like an, uh, an other side deed to play this 2D experience. I think this is going to be much more open uh, due to the fact that it says powered by ApeCoin. So I'm hoping and I think that this is the case. Don't quote me. I mean, quote me on if you want, uh, that this is going to be more of a kind of open thing for a lot of different people to try to experience other side, which I think is the right way to do it. Like, you know, it's uh, it's like a, a dealer giving, giving a junkie a, like a little taste, right? Like, you know, you give them the first bump for free and, and maybe they want to come back for more if it's good, you know? Uh, if I've learned anything from watching Breaking Bad and The Wire, that's how you do it, right? So I think that's what we're getting ready to see here is after the event that is for other deed holders uh, in late March, you know, sometime in, you know, probably April or May, we'll have this Legends of the Mara 2D uh, experience. And that is going to be, you know, try to bring more and more people into it as they scale up and test the limits of what other side can do ahead of the full launch later this year. Sweet. I mean, if, if you are right, like if I'm quoting you, you know, anyone pretty much who is just transacting with ApeCoin can uh, join, I definitely will be, you know, venturing probably first foray into BAYC Yuga, other than just buying ApeCoin off Binance. So seems like a yep. pretty cool opportunity to be, uh, again, it's weird that it's a 2D game too, so or a 2D experience. Yeah. So I wonder what that would entail. Obviously, uh, but what do you call it? Other side is, uh, it's a 3D world, but, you know, 2D, maybe that's just, uh, I don't know. I'd be intrigued to see what the art style and any of that stuff would end up looking like for this. It looks like it's a lot yeah, of like sure. uh, inspired by Japanese culture, like art, artwork itself. That reminds me of like all sam samurai films and even some of the Godzilla posters. So it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think it's going to be. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. The market has reacted well. We've seen the price of other deeds go up now at like one point eight three. So that has uh, you know markets responding positively. Price of Ape Coin took a nice leg up as, as well. It's now back to uh, almost six dollars after being around five dollars and sixty cents most of the last, uh, I'd say, twenty four hours. So we're seeing the market like realizing that okay, maybe we do have, uh, maybe we are going to need some Ape Coin. Maybe we are going to want to hold this. And you know, we talk about it on our crypto show a lot around. You know the uh the price action of, of certain tokens and i i still think that apecoin is not by no means is it going to be immune to the larger macro economic conditions but i do think it is going to trade a little bit differently around when there are announcements and use cases for it yeah i still i agree, completely agree with you on that uh again i don't know we might be in a bull market according to jim Cramer, but uh for the most part i do think that these the more that Yuga puts out, uh, these experiences are out there. Definitely, you're going to see more transaction volume with ApeCoin. But uh, like like you said, more bigger macro picture, I still anticipate it to go down. But I don't think that necessarily means that it's done for. I think that there's tons of growth for that project. And then especially using uh, ApeCoin, that's going to be... Uh, ApeCoin is definitely one bag that I'm looking to pick up as uh, we continue down in this bear market. For sure. And we can talk about that more on the crypto show on Thursday. Um, you know, around the volatility for ApeCoin. I, I think it's one of those things where if ETH takes a big dump, you know, ApeCoin will probably, because it is an altcoin, it'll probably dump a little bit harder. But at the same time, it will run up with ETH. And it can also, you know, if ETH is stagnant, but we get 
news around ApeCoin, it could see a nice pump there too. So it definitely has plenty of downside risk. But I also think there's a ton of upside potential if, once again, you believe that Yuga can execute and deliver on these things. If you don't, maybe it's a good coin to short. I don't know. Uh, I don't really play around in that side of the market. So that is an update on everything going on with Yuga Labs. One more day left to play Dookie Dash. So I'll, I'll probably get in a few more runs just for just for the fun of it. And uh, you know, we'll report back next week when we know what happens with the summoning and when these uh, these sewer passes begin to turn into power sources. Um, any final thoughts before we head out, Kevin? Uh, nothing that I got in my mind. I uh, hope you enjoy your Dookie Dash game tonight. Yeah, cherish <laughs> memories with it. So uh, hopefully you can get close to that 900K score. So. Yep. Uh, I, I'm hoping that they continue to like have Dookie Dash like playable like for everyone after the game is over. And I've even heard of uh, I know we're trying to wrap it up. I even heard of people hosting like IRL Dookie Dash tournaments with like, you know, a few thousand dollar cash prize as well. So I think people are kind of liking Dookie Dash and it would be fun if, you know, Yuga did a uh, like another revenue stream for them could be recurring tournaments of dookie dash like different seasons of it where you know whatever people spend on the power shark packs you know part of that is put into a prize pool or something i don't know how legally how that would work but i could definitely see if these mini games they put out are fun uh an opportunity for you get to continue to generate revenue through this gaming side of the business so just some food for thought i hope that they uh you know the next round of games is you know as enjoyable if not more so than this one yeah, make a mobile game. Just charge everybody yep. for it. Then powered by ApeCoin. There you go. Oh God, that's who a fun mobile game powered by ApeCoin. Like pump my bags, Kevin Shannon. Holy shit. Okay, uh, that is going to wrap it up for today. We'll be back on Thursday with our crypto show. So for Kevin, for the team at Flolio, I am Jeremy. Once again, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you like our content. Share it far and wide. Head to Flolio.com. All that good stuff. Appreciate everybody for watching. We will see you next time. Take care, everyone.